Hello viewers, welcome back to Ready Controls. In this video, we are diving into one of the most powerful but underused instructions in Studio 5000, that is the file search and compare instruction. By end of this tutorial, you will know exactly how to use SFC to search arrays, find recipes and validate barcodes in your PLC project. Here is what we will, we will cover, cover today. today. We, we will, will cover what the SFC instruction is and why it is useful in Studio 5000. Then we will talk about how FSC searches arrays for matches using conditions. Then we also look at how to use the dot found bit and dot position bit and how to reset SFC. And then we will look at the real world examples where we take a barcode scanner um, string and search for a product recipe lookup. And we also cover some of the common pitfalls when using SFC with strings. So without any delay, let's get started. So what is an SFC? SFC instruction in Allen Bradley PLC is, uh, think about it like a search engine for your PLC. If you give it an array to scan and a condition to match, once you give those two uh, things, an array to scan and a condition for the match, SFC will tell us if there is a match found, it will set the dot found bit high and when and it will also tell where the match was, which is position or the index number. And when the instruction is done, it's going to set the done bit. So here is how the SFC looks like here. We have a control word for SFC, that's uh, product search. And that product search has all these dot extensions, dot position, dot done and dot found are the main ones. If in this above example, it found something uh, in position 9 based on this condition which is a scanned barcode or a product code is equal to a product code array. And once it's um, search is done, the done bit goes high and also once it finds a match, it will have a dot find bit. So in our real world example, left side is our product code description with an index. Uh, the first product code is a PCR uh, passenger tire barcode and then we have, you know, zero to nine different kinds of product codes. So when a barcode reader scans uh, scans the product code, we need to find out the corresponding recipe. So when the product code is, the scanned product code is a TBR315, we use an SFC to find out where it is in the product array. And we take that index position phi in this example, the found bit will tell us where it found the product code and it will return the recipe name. Okay, so each product code maps directly to a curing recipe. For example, the TBR315 is mapped to a TBR fast recipe. The challenge is when a barcode scanner reads the product code, how do we quickly find the right recipe? If you had to do this in ladder, it's going to take uh, writing a for loop and multiple rungs, but with SFC, all you need is one instruction. Now, we will try to jump into the logic and show how it works. Okay, what I'm showing here is a product array. I have a product array of 10 strings, zero to nine, and these are all the product arrays. And then I also created a, a recipe list or a recipe array, which has the corresponding recipe codes. So what we are trying to do is when an operator scans a barcode, this uh, reset is to make sure the previous uh, re, uh, previous SFC was resetted before we search. So once the scan is done, we are resetting the SFC and this is that SFC called product search and length, we have 10 arrays to uh, search, 10 elements to search. So we put length and position as you can see right now, it's keep changing in a loop because I'm resetting it and finding it. And you could see the it's trying to find a match and it's stopping at position nine, which is our ninth position. So how it works is I have this expression scanned product code. So we go, I will show you the scanned product code. So the scanned product code is individual solid 15 X five. So what this expression is doing is it's taking this IND solid 15 X five and searching it inside the product code array and the product code array has 10. So it 
it finds one at a time. It goes through the list and says, hey, I found the match of IND solid in position nine. That's what this position nine is talking about. And once we have the dot found bit, all I'm doing here is go back to the recipe and take the dot position bit, which is nine and move it into the selected recipe. That's why we have the selected recipe with cure IND solid, right? So say now if I change the scanned product code to this one, uh, let's control C. Okay, and we just move scanned product code to TBR 80 R22. Now you can see the found position is four. That means it found it in the fourth position. The TBR 295 was found in fourth position for the product code. So the recipe it's going to select is cure TBR standard. That's going to be moved into the selected recipe. So the key things to watch for is the dot found, found bit and the position. And once the instruction is done, we move this in the next scan. We are going at, we are hitting the reset. I'm just using a reset command to reset the SFC for it to re-trigger. If you don't do the reset, you cannot re-trigger the file search compare instruction. That's it for the SFC instruction in action, like a search engine for your PLC. If you found this useful, hit the like button, subscribe, drop a comment and let me know in the comments if you like the sample code for this curing press example, I'll be happy to share. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.